Are you tired of glossy or foggy finishes ruining your miniature masterpieces? Don't worry, I'm here to help. Finding a good matte varnish requires trial and error, so thankfully I did all the hard work for you. I'm Stardy from Tale of Painters and in this video I'll share my favorite matte varnish spray and airbrush products, all tested and approved by myself. I don't know about you, but for me, finding the perfect Mac Warnish was like the search for the holy grail. It can be difficult to find a good Warnish for your Warhammer miniatures, because many bad Warnishes on the market have actually a rather satin finish, despite what the label says. Additionally, matte varnishes are more prone to the dreaded frosting effect that turns minis into a whitish foggy mess. There are several types of varnishes available, including water-based, polyurethane and solvent-based varnishes. I recommend using water-based acrylic varnishes, because even though polyurethane and solvent-based varnishes tend to provide a more durable finish, they are more aggressive and can reactivate and dissolve acrylic paints and decals, especially ink-like paints like Citadel Contrast and Speed Paints. I divided my list of matte varnishes into three categories budget-friendly, ultra-matte and then at the end comes my absolute favorite varnish product. Let's start with the cheap options. My first affordable spray can option is AK Interactive Matte Warnish Spray. This warnish comes in a 400ml spray can and doesn't break the bank at a mere 10 euro per can. It creates a nice finish that is matte but not super flat and it's really hard to mess up molds even when spraying on too much. The only downside is that the varnish can leave a slightly rough texture as you can see here on my Goliath Ganger, most noticeably on the black base rim. At arm's length it's hardly an issue but if you want to post macro pictures of your miniatures on social media like I do it can be a deal breaker. The other budget option is the Army Painters Anti-Shine Matte Varnish. Anti-shine has a pleasant level of madness that kills the shine of glossier paints without dulling your paint job too much. Even though you often read bad things about the Army Painter products on the internet, I had no problems applying the varnish even when I accidentally sprayed on a little too much. However, after I ran through 3 or 4 cans, I got 2 cans with a rather glossy finish. The replacement cans I got were just as glossy, so I gave up and switched to another brand. The quality control at the Army Painter can be so and so, but since the varnish is not that expensive at 11 to 12 euros per 400 milliliter can, why not give it a try? Now a word about Monitorum Varnish Spray from Games Workshop. While I initially liked the finish and handling, it's the only matte varnish spray that has ever frosted on me, so I can't recommend it. By the way, a frosted or cloudy layer of varnish can often be saved by carefully rubbing the miniature with oil, for example vegetable oil. These chain rasps here are the minis I accidentally frosted with Monitorum Varnish, but as you can see, I was able to completely restore the paint job. So these two varnishes are good options, but they don't necessarily have the most matte finish. If you really want the mattest of matte finishes, there is no way around airbrushing. Airbrushes can produce a finer spray mist than aerosol cans and ultra matte varnishes have an extremely high proportion of matting agents which need to be evenly applied to a model to avoid a patchy finish. I tried several super matte varnishes and even though AK Interactive's ultra matte varnish was often recommended to me, I had problems achieving an even finish with it. Despite a lot of shaking and applying multiple thin layers, the matting agents dried unevenly as you can see on this terrain piece. Personally, I had better, more even results with Ultra Matte Lucky Varnish from MIG. If you don't know where to find MIG or any of the products mentioned in this video, I've put a handy link in the description and comments below. By the way, if you don't require a super matte finish, MIG also has a regular matte version of their Lucky Varnish, as well as satin and glossy options as well. The Army Painter also has a range of varnishes in their air range, which come in very affordable 100ml bottles. Besides MIG varnishes, I also had good experience with the Max Matte Varnish from Green Stuff World. But if you don't have an airbrush, there is still a way to achieve a super matte finish. The answer is TS80 Flat Clear Spray from Tamiya. Though it's not as dead flat as airbrush ultra matte varnishes, it is the most matte spray varnish you can find. It will remove the sheen from any paint job, though be aware, it does make metallic colors and black rather dull and grayish. Also, it has a tendency to leave a microscopic grainy texture on your model, a common issue of aerosol matte varnishes. 
You can see what I mean when you look at this vampire lord, especially the black of the base rim. At arm's length, it's not so noticeable, but it definitely is in photos. That's why I only use TS-80 flat for terrain pieces. It is also a very expensive product. A tiny 100ml can costs 9 to 10 euros, which is only a quarter of what you get in a regular 400ml spray can. Now, before I share my overall favorite matte varnish product with you, why don't you smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell if you want to see more paint and hobby reviews like this. You can also support me on Patreon for exclusive tutorials and resources. Thanks a lot, and now here comes my current go to varnish. Premium top coat flat from Mr. Hobby, yet another Japanese scale modeling slash gunpla company. In my experience, Japanese hobby companies just smash it when it comes to quality and craftsmanship. The downside is that this product is even more expensive than the Tamiya varnish. A single can is about 10 euro, yet holds only a measly 88 milliliter of paint. But the varnish applies super smoothly and easily, and the degree of madness is very pleasant. Not as flat as the Tamiya spray, but also less satin than the Army Painter and AK Interactive. As you can see here, it removes the shine without making metallic colors too flat, which I really like. According to the manufacturer, this varnish has an anti-whitening formula and I hadn't any problems with frosting at all, even when I've sprayed on a little too much. So unfortunately, the most expensive product is also the best, at least in my opinion. There is a non-premium version of this varnish, which is a nuance less matte, but still on the same level as say AK Interactive and Anti-Shine by the Army Painter, which costs 2 euros less per can. I like to use it on models with a lot of metallic details, like my silver skulls with their bare steel power armor. A word of warning, be careful not to get Mr. Super Clear from Mr. Hobby by mistake, as this is a solvent-based varnish that can damage your paint job and decals and should be used for lacquer paints only. Now let me know about your favorite matte varnish products in the comments and I'm eager to hear about your advice or varnish related mishaps. I also just reviewed all 60 paints from Duncan Road's Two Thin Coats paint range. Be sure to check out the video here on the right. The quality and coverage of these paints blew me away. Thanks a lot and happy warnishing.